So what is ultra wideband? It is not Verizon's 5G ultra wideband that they're marketing at the moment. You'll see this come up a lot. Uh, there's a lot of Google search ads uh, popping up there prioritizing Verizon's marketing for 5G ultra wideband. Let's just spill that myth now. It is not the same thing. 5G is not ultra wideband, completely different technologies, completely different frequency spectrums. This is just a marketing term that Verizon is using for 5G. What is ultra wideband? So essentially, it's using pulse radio technology, and it's based on the IEEE 802.15.4 standard. So most of you are familiar with that. We've seen Peter present on that at uh, Wi-Fi Track and WLPC before. Things like Zigbee and Thread and all those sorts of cool things that play in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. But it's actually a really deep and really uh, complicated uh, standard that we've only just really scratched the surface on in the Wi-Fi community, I feel. Um, so the definition of ultra wideband really is that the 3 dB bandwidth is at least 25% of the center frequency of a, of, a, of a radio transmission. And really it's basically using short pulses of really low power spectral density. This is one of the key points about ultra wideband. Really wide bandwidth, really low power. Um, and it operates in the 3.1 to 10.6 gigahertz range. There is actually some support for sub gigahertz as well, but this is the majority of the stuff that we see coming out at the moment and ultra wideband, wide bandwidth, at least 500 megahertz channels all the way up to 1300 megahertz wide channels, so it's pretty cool. And you can actually have data rate use cases. A lot of people's thoughts at the moment have been around location tracking, that's for sure what the Sevier guys presented earlier this week, but it can be used for data uh, exchange and data communications and control communications, not just location services. So talking about location services, yes, that is a key area that a lot of the work has been done on ultra wideband in recent times is around the time of flight and measurement of radio signals for proximity and localization. This is a really cool point. This is actually what is getting me quite excited about ultra wideband. Not only is it an 802.15.4, it's an 802.15.6. Wireless body area networks. Wireless sensors for health monitoring and tracking is probably going to revolutionize Apple Health and what they have in store for the Apple Watch and things like that. 